Hello friends, how are you all with this COVID-19 pandemic and everything? Hope you guys are fine. Please, I need you guys to stay alive for my sake, okay? Stay safe, please. Alright, today we are going to be discussing about Chick Smash Fit Formula. If you follow our previous videos, you know that we've discussed about Leia's Smash Fit Formula. We've talked about Gora's Smash Fit Formula. We also talked about Brella Starter and Brella Finisher. So in case you've not gone through the video, you can as well check it out on our YouTube channel. Alright, if you look at the pictures on the background there, you will see some tiny, tiny little chicks. Those are beds that are newly brought, like they are newly hatched from the mother hen or from eggs or whatever, but they are still tiny in nature. So we are going to be discussing about how you can formulate their own feed. Because with the way feed is going, like this high rate of feed raw materials now, farmers are really finding it difficult to produce feeds for themselves. And at the same time, even if you said, okay, let, let's you go and purchase, it's still difficult to see something outside there. The cost of feed now is alarming, seriously. And the only way to see how you can manage to come out of this is by making your own feeds. So uh, that's one of the reasons why I make this video, so that if you have the feed formulas handy, it makes it a lot easier for you to just follow the guide and make your own feeds, no matter the quantity, and at least start from there. All right, a brief introduction of what Chick Smash is before we go into the formula proper. Chick Smash feeds are given to poultry birds or chickens between the ages of 0 to 6 weeks like I said earlier when they are still little and sometimes up to 8 weeks depending on the pocket of the farmer and the growth rate of the poultry chicks the truth of the matter is that formulate chick smash is kind of a bit more expensive than grower smash so that's why I said depending on the pocket of the farmer that's how much the farmer has to maintain that because of the raw materials and the nutritional components of the chick smash it makes it a bit more expensive than the others. It is very important to also understand that whether you're formulating chick smash, grower smash, broiler starter mash, broiler finisher mash, or layer smash, it now I remember that feed formulas are usually given to beds based on the needs. So before a formula is recommended, it must meet the needs of your beds. You don't just formulate feed, the feeds rather to serve to your chicks simply because you feel okay. Let me just mix one concussion. Let me bring up bit of fowl and let's say maize together, mix them and give it to them. They will still survive. No, you mix it because this is what they need to perform better. You mix them because you need the balanced ration, so you need all the nutrients complete. It is no longer a secret that poultry feed or chicken feed often accounts for about 7 to 8% of the total cost of poultry production. Right now, the increasing cost of feeds is driving many poultry farmers out of business. Like I said earlier, feed is very expensive, even in my own farm. If not that I make my own feeds, I even with making the feeds, I won't tell you it's been easy. We are facing reality here, we are learning practical way out, so I won't start bluffing that I'm finding it very easy. But the only thing that has been helping me is the fact that I produce for myself, so I don't add up the cost of bags, the cost of paying salaries to those who manufacture the feeds, the cost of machine, then add profits, all those things make up the increment in a bag of feed before they will now know how much they are going to sell each bag. So with all those minor costs removed from the cost of production proper, I think it still makes it a bit more cheaper, you understand, especially if you now make it in bulk, it's way way cheaper than going out there to purchase feeds. I'm not saying purchasing feeds are bad, but remember the main major purpose of this channel. We are working to not just to farm, not just for agri 
investment. We are agreed for profits. So we must make profits from our investment, from our labor, which is why we are looking for a way to minimize cost of production so that we can get increase in yield. Therefore, today I'm going to show you how to make your own chick smash chicken feed because success in poultry farming business mostly depends on feeding quality feed and feed formulation system. You already know that what you give your pets is what they give your return. So if you don't feed the chicks well, they will form well. And if they don't form well, you don't need to even expect them to grow well. Talk more of giving you good production when they start laying. That's if they will lay. <laughs> Well, this is for proper growth, egg production, and good health. Poultry beds require energy, not just energy. They require good nutrition, like I mentioned earlier. For proper growth, they need balanced ration. For good egg production, they need balanced ration. For good health, they also need balanced ration. So the best way is feed your beds well, feed your chicken well because whatever you give them is what you get. In order to obtain the desired growth rate, you must have to purchase and provide highly nutritious poultry feed. Except for adequate and quality feeding, you can't run your poultry farming business properly. Like I said in this channel, I'm being as honest as I can because I don't want to start giving you high hopes. It's better you know what you're going to face and be prepared for it proper so you don't make mistakes than saying it's going to be easy just make sure you to ease calculate how much you're going to sell for your best by how much people you're going to buy then fine that's profit you just jump in there at the end of the day you start making mistakes and they start dying and you start complaining at the end of the day you lose your money that's not us here we tell you this is what you're going in there for to like enable you get fully the knowledge you need get fully prepared you know, at least something you prepare for. It's just like going into an exam hall and they tell you this exam is going to be tough. Even if you read, study for like two hours for other courses, for the fact that they told you this exam is going to be very tough, you will dedicate extra time. And that extra time you dedicated may be exactly what will save you at the long run. So that's just it for poultry farming too. They require time, good care and all that. But if you know how to do it, you know how to tackle them. It's better than telling you, you're going to make money from egg and make money from selling the chicks itself when they grow and you venture into it aiming the profits without knowing how to achieve that profit. As a poultry farmer, you should always produce and sell fresh and healthy beds and quality eggs. And for producing quality eggs and meat, you have to feed your beds quality feed. Like I always say, what you give your beds is what you get. You can't feed them rubbish and expect good results. Where will they come from? Even as a human being, you can be eating chaff, it will still reflect in your body. When you see someone who is eating healthy, who is healthy, you will know. These things are also animals, they are also living things. So if you feed them well, you will still know. Even from their body, their appearance, how smart they are and all that, their production. This will help to get maximum returns from your poultry farming business. Obviously, that's the end result we are looking for. If you are planning, or you're already eating poultry farming and you wish to hit it big then your poultry beds feeding is something you should take very seriously today i'm going to show you how to make your own chick smash chicken feed because success in poultry farming business mostly depends on feeding quality feed and feed formation system like i've said before so this is just maybe you can go through it when you pause it and all that. I don't want to repeat all this process because I want us to save time and at least achieve why we are here today. This is just a repetition of a breakdown of what I've explained so far. So that's that. As a result, many poultry farmers in different parts of the country want to know how they can make their own feet in order to cut down costs of production. Definitely. In the past, conventional thinking has made it that farmers cannot make their own feed, and especially to feed foreign breeds of chicken. You know, especially if you're not a professional, let's assume you're not a professional poultry farmer and you want to make your own feed. But thanks to technology now, like our channel, where you can now learn how to do this. 
follow the instructions, achieve your results. But before now, when all these were not in place, you can imagine how are you supposed to raise beds, let's say layers for instance, when you don't even have an idea of how or the nutrient components that make up the bag of food. So without all this knowledge, there's no way you can be able to make your own food, even if you wanted to. But I came to understand that this mindset has concentrated efforts of the more enterprising farmers who have the needed skills to make their own feet. The fact that you don't know it doesn't mean you can't learn it. Like I said, all thanks to technology and the way the world is going, even if you don't know it, you can come to channels like mine, read up, listen, read up online. You can also visit our official website at www.agriforprofits.com and read up at your own convenience. We also have an app. You can actually download our app from Google Play Store. Just type agricforprofits.com. That's the name of the app. Then you download it and read at your own convenience. A lot of things you can learn are from there anyway. In fact, some farmers are already formulating their own high quality feeds on the farm and do not rely on commercial feeds whose costs keep rising every day. I, I don't really want to talk much on this because Part of the things that actually make up the cost of commercial feeds rising every day, like I mentioned earlier, it's not necessarily the feed or the feed raw materials. They pay workers who formulate the feed, they bought machines to make that feed. It is work they are doing. So at the end of the day, they also request to get some profits. So they add up all their costs into the feeds they make before giving it the cost. And when they now give it the cost, becomes a bit more expensive than what you should get if you're the one doing it yourself. Besides the quality of some feeds is so poor. Sorry, besides the quality of some feeds is so poor that poultry farmers using such feeds incurred unnecessary huge losses. Yes, because of you know the rising cost of raw materials now. When they purchase these things, they may not put the required quantity. Do you understand? It, it, they will just do it fine, especially since they're not the ones using this for commercial purpose. They just bag it and sell. I'm not saying that there are no good, you know, companies out there that do very nice commercial feeds. What I'm saying in essence is, they said something that is for general, they will treat it general. But if it's your own, you treat it like your own. There are some things that they will just decide to ignore. Some of them actually will decide to ignore that you, as the real owner, will find it difficult to ignore because you're talking about your feet here. You understand? Farmers who formulate and make their own feeds at home or farm save an average of 1,000 naira for every 50 kg bag of chicken feed, which is a great save for those doing commercial production. I'll repeat this again. Farmers who formulate and make their own feeds at home or farm save an average of 1,000 naira for every 50 kg bag of chicken feed, which is a great save for those doing commercial production. I think this particular paragraph is well self explanatory. You can go through it over and over again and calculate how much you're actually saving. Imagine if you have 1,000 beds, for instance, and you're making your own feed. You will know how much you're saving. Below is your chick smash feed formula, along with a step by step comprehensive guide on how to formulate your chick smash feed for your poultry beds and cut down you know, cost of production. Fine, an example of a chick smash feed formula is given below. By your left hand side, you're seeing the raw materials needed, and by your right hand side, you're seeing the quantity required. So you can see it's just a simple formula, but it makes a whole lot of difference when you do it yourself. In formulating 1000 kg, which is one ton of chick smash feed formula, you're going to be needing maize at a quantity of 500 kg, soya, which is soya bean meal, also referred to as SBM, at a quantity of 120 kg. GNC, which is also called granite cake, at a quantity of 107 kg. Wheat offals, 
245 kg required bone meal 10.5 kg required oyster shell 10 kg methionine 1 kg lysine 1 kg salt 2.5 kg and vitamin 3 kg all making a total of 1000 kg I'm going to repeat them again you'll be needing maize 500 kg soya bean meal or SBM or soya at 120 kg GNC which is also referred to as granite cake at 107 kg wheat offals at 245 kg bone meal 10.5 kg oyster shell 10 kg methionine 1 kg lysine 1 kg salt 2.5 kg and vitamin 3 kg if you put all these figures together you're going to get one done so i'm going to leave it on the screen for a while so that in case you're writing it down you can actually grab everything or if you're studying it offhand you can as well take a good glance at it All right, note that seasons can also affect or alter the formulation. Therefore, you know, I always advise you to carry an expert along, especially for new poultry farmers. You understand? Especially for new poultry farmers, I repeat. If you are learning this, you should know, like all those former formulas, you see point this, point that. You will need an expert in the field to soak it at least for your first few times of trying. If you need someone to say, okay, fine, this is how to read the scale. This is where point starts from and ends. This is where one is. This is where two is. You need guide. It must not necessarily be a veterinary doctor or an agri consultant or, but, you know, but you just need someone who, an existing farmer, someone who actually knows what he or she is doing in the business. So the person can put you through and guide you because I won't be there to see you measuring it. So I want someone who can represent me to be there to see you measure it at least for the first time. So that when you get the results, you can come back to our comment section and comment your results and how happy you are. Then if you have some questions you can ask, then I'll be able to respond to you. But because I won't be there physically to guide you through, I want you to get someone a bit upper hand that can say, okay, fine, this is what she actually meant here. Do you understand? Now, we would love to hear your opinions, ideas, observations, suggestions, questions, and even answers to some questions that will be asked by others below using the comment box on the comment section below. So, whatever question you have, if you did, whatever part you didn't understand, whatever thing you want to know, you're free. Feel free to comment on the section. So, I will reply all of them, guide you through. If it's something you want to read up more, I can share the links with you. If it's something you want me to see pictures or something, just get in touch with me using the comment section below. Also, you are encouraged to share this guide with your loved ones you feel the guide will be useful to, as we cannot reach everyone at the same time. Yes, all we are doing is to see how we can help farmers, even from afar. Because we can visit everyone at their farms to see what they are doing and guide them, we decided to open this channel with the blog, where we write on the blog for posts on agricforprofits.com that's where we write articles for you to read then here at agricforprofits.com on the youtube channel we try to make videos of those articles so that if you're not you know opportune or you were not able to read them you can as well listen to the video follow the instructions and get what you want then ask questions directly and know what you want so if there's any area i didn't cover you want me to cover and if there's any other thing you would like to know or ask, whatever thing it is, just use the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more amazing videos. Yes, because from time to time, we try to bring out videos to help. But if you're not a subscriber or you come once in a while, there's no way you, you know, you'll be notified when a new video comes up. So please 
subscribe to our youtube channel so that when we publish new videos you should be able to get the notification and if it's the one you want to watch or the one you like you can as well watch it but if it's the one you don't want or you can as well ignore it but at least we just want to keep you informed and carry along so please subscribe to make things a bit more easier for us to communicate and also always visit our official website at www.agriforprofits.com for all you need to know about agriculture slash farming business for free yes it's just to help so please I need all your engagements, I need all the activities I can get, I need all the motivations I can get so that this to encourage me to continue you know crafting the ideas, making research, using my farm as a study, coming up with contents for the blog and coming up with contents for the video. I need all the encouragement I can get to know that yes, I'm actually helping people out there. So if you feel this is helping you, let me know so that I will know that I'm not just doing it for myself and I have people who are willing it so I can know that yes, I'm making these sacrifices, I'm doing all these things for it's worth it, of which I know that I also appreciate that fact. So here now, I think I'll be rounding up this video today here yeah, so that you know you can feel free to go back to the video play it often play it again and if there's any question you have you can download it and watch later if you want to then if there's any question you have you can communicate with us in the comment section or you can visit at the website at agriforprofits.com to read up more and all that if that's what you want because we actually have a lot of information there and because it's a video i try to make video from time to time as often as I can to keep you updated but on the website there's so many there to write about so many things to read we even have a forum on the website where you can just visit on the forum subscribe to the forum you want on the forum section we have for animal section we have for poultry fish snail you can just subscribe uh, even for crops we have for crops we have for natural health we have a lot so you can just visit agricforprofits.com Go to the forum you want subscribe there you don't have to pay any money just to register so that whenever you have any issues concerning anything you can actually log in there present pictures if need be so that someone will always guide you me and my team will always be there to reply but if you don't get in touch with us there's no one will know what you're facing and how to help so always visit www.agreeforprofits.com which is the website the official website for this youtube channel so they work hand in hand if you get there you see a lot that will interest you we even have a marketplace there where you can advertise your products and services for free strictly agricultural slash farming products you know and services for free all you just have to do is to visit beside the marketplace that's where the list of all the products that have been advertised are then beside there you see where they say place your ad click on it register put in your ad details and you know we'll publish it for you for free you can actually do all that from the home site for free so simply visit www.agriforprofits.com today for everything you need to get started and don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching this video see you next time